Hello, I'm Nick Hartnell. I'm an orthopedic surgeon that works at Macquarie University Hospital. I specialise in low, lower limb reconstruction and especially with arthritis and especially arthritic joints such as hip and knee joints. Uh, today we're going to talk about the, the hip joint. Hip joint is a very common problem for Australians to get arthritis and essentially the arthritis is that dreaded bone on bone articulation. That's when you lose that cartilage which is a protective uh, mechanism of the joint and allows that free uh, rolling movement. When you lose that, you've got that bone on bone, the joint just doesn't function. That dysfunction really presents in, in classic situations of hip, decreased uh, walking mobility, difficulty getting your shoes and socks on, even challenges getting in and out of the car. Quite often you have to feel like you lift the leg into the car. Once, you, once you've got that, we always talk about non-operative management uh, of the hip joint. We try and encourage you with weight loss, anti-inflammatories, simple analgesics, some physiotherapy to strengthen around the muscles. But when that all fails, then you must be thinking of a surgical option. And thankfully there are some great surgical options. Surgical option that I specialise in is, is hip replacement and the total hip, arth uh, total hip arthroplasty or replacement is what I do. That's a very good and reliable pr uh, procedure to get you back into your life, get you out of pain and get you back functioning with your day-to-day -day activities, both in your work and your social life. Quite often hip arthritis causes a lot of hip pain at night and the lack of sleep really affects your lifestyle. And that's one of the main things that we can uh, attend to with hip surgery. Hip replacement surgery is very common these days. It's uh, essentially, it is replacing the ball in the socket. So we replace the ball, the arthritic ball and the arthritic socket uh, with a new articulation, which is nice and smooth. It's not what mother nature gave you, but it's far sight better than what you've got at this point in time. It's going to last hopefully 20, 25 years and with any luck that's going to uh, give you back your life and give you back your function. After surgery we encourage early mobilisation. We get you out of bed very quickly these days and try and get you back to recovery straight away. We trick the body into thinking it's not much of an operation and get you moving as soon as you can. Uh, we'll get, get you walking to, uh, to the front door, uh, down the corridor, down the street and around, around the block as soon as you can. You'll be driving a car fairly, fairly soon after the procedure and that's regardless if, on whether it's your right or left hip. Usually we, we can get you driving if you can walk to a car unaided and certainly if you're not on the strong painkillers. Quite often after the operation you're not on the strong painkillers you were on before the operation. So we've traded the, traded the arthritic pain for surgical pain and quite often the surgical pain is a lot easier to deal with. Post-surgically, hopefully we'll have a reducing pain regime that will be much better for you. You'll feel much healthier and more human. We'll see you at the two-week mark for wound reviews. We'll see you at the six-week mark with new x-rays. Then maybe at three months, maybe at six months, and then hopefully at 25 years.